Welcome to Matt's Reloading Bench. Today, I want to talk about the 224 Valkyrie shoot that we did doing the showdown between the BLC 2 powder and the Winchester 748. They were very similar, and pretty much the only thing that set them apart was the fact that the BLC 2 had about 80 feet per second more in muzzle velocity. Aside from that, everything was very similar. One thing has been kind of nagging at me a little bit, and that is my group size. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. It's over one MOA, and I really don't feel satisfied with that. So I would like to see if I can possibly somehow get it down to one half MOA at 100 yards. The last thing that I really have that I can do is to play around with the seating depth of the bullet. So how I'm going to go about this is I'm going to load five shot groups at five thousandths of an inch interval of different seating depths, starting at the lands and finishing at 40 thousandths off of the lands. In doing so, I know that I'm going to see my group size get larger, but I'm also hoping that I can see if the group size shrinks and gets smaller. I'm also going to be paying attention to the chronograph information that I get for each different seating depth to see which is the most consistent as well. So I'm really hoping that I can at least hold the standard deviation and extreme spread that I had from the previous shoot. But my big thing is I'm hoping to shrink down this shot group. I have my IntelliDropper set up and I've got the brass I'm going to be using. In this particular instance, I'm going to be using a manual powder trickle. With it being in the final stages of this load development, I want to make sure that absolutely everything is as possibly consistent and accurate as possible. I've got a piece of paper with how different seating depths are going to be laid out. So this row is going to be to the lands, and then this is going to be 5 thousandths off, 10 thousandths, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 thousandths off of the lands. What I will do is load the powder charge in all of the brass at once, and once I'm done doing that, I will be then seating bullets with the seating die set to the lands, and then I will set it down 5 thousandths at a time until we get all of these done. I'm going to go ahead and start the dispensing powder and get all the charges into the brass. I will trickle the powder until it says 26.7 grains. All right. I've got 26.7 grains of powder in each of the uh, brass cartridges. So now I'm going to go ahead and start seeding bullets starting at zero. In other words, touching the lands. So I set up my die where it reads zero. And that is going to represent touching the lands. So when I'm going to be five thousandths off, all I got to do is turn it in five thousandths of an inch another five thousandths, and another, and another. All right, so always try and make things as simple as possible for yourself. So I've got the five rounds loaded, touching the lands. Gonna go ahead and adjust my die. I've got my die set for five thousandths off of the lands. 
Then we'll seat the next five. So now I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this in another five thousandths in. Now I've got my die set for ten thousandths off of the lands. Adjust it in five thousandths more. Fifteen thousandths off of the lands. So we will go ahead and turn this in another five thousandths, twenty thousandths off of the lands. Turn it in another five, twenty five thousandths off of the lands. And another five, thirty thousandths off of the lands. Just the die in another five thousandths, thirty five thousandths off of the lands. And another five thousandths in for the die. And finally, forty thousandths off of the lands. All of the rounds are set in five thousandths increments, starting at touching the lands all the way out to forty thousandths away from the lands. So for the different seating depths, I've got 1 1.872, 1.866, 1.862, 1.857, 1.85, 1.845, and 1.830. Now one thing that you're going to notice is that even though I was adjusting this 5,000 seating depth at a time, it, the rounds that I measured are between five and seven thousandths of a difference. Well, each individual bullet, that point of contact with the ogive for where I'm measuring might be slightly different. You could take this to another step if you really wanted to and measure out all your bullets before seeding them to try and separate them into groups by different length to the ogive from the base of the bullet and you will see that you will have some differences at this point I don't want to get that picky because I want to try and have the results set up in a way where I can just open up a fresh box of bullets and start loading with the information that I have if I really want to get into fine-tuning even more, then I can go ahead, separate them by weight, by length to the ogive, and I just don't want to get it that complicated if I don't have to. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video, please let me know in the comments section. If you like my video, please hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. My next video will be shooting off these rounds and getting the results and seeing where we end up. Until next time, shoot straight and be safe.